Greetings everyone, P. Pardo here from Sea of Tranquility. Welcome to day number 14 of my favorite albums to listen to in the summertime. In the summertime, right? These are these albums that uh, are soundtracks to warmer weather months here in the States, here in my section of New York. That usually means we think of summer probably June 1st, even though it's still spring. June 1st to the end of August, early September. That's the summer months for us. That's when all the cool, breezy music comes out, party time music, classic rock, jazzy stuff, some hard rock, maybe a little bit of metal, right? But the stuff that's that, uh, you know, you have other people around, you kind of, kind of play stuff that, you know, people know, but also stuff that makes you feel good in the summertime, that gets you charged up to go jump in that car, go cruising around, or I'm going to go tackle that little bit of yard work, and I'm going to pop the music on, the boom box, right? Or I'm going to go out by the pool. I need some stuff that I'm just going to kind of like chill out to, right? That sort of thing. And today, uh, for our pick today, this is an album that was released uh, March 30th, 1970. Recorded at Columbia 52nd Street Studios in New York City. Produced by Teo Macero for Columbia Records. It's Bitches Brew by Miles Davis. Yes! I'm telling you. There is something about this album. You know, it's not quite my favorite Miles Davis album. It's one of them. But there's something about this double album, double disc set that just gets you in the mood to be outside with the sun beating down on you. It's kind of, it's groovy and tribal and just makes you feel like, you know, you're out in the jungle somewhere and you're just, yeah, just something about it. I always loved the, just the mysterious and just chaotic and groove-laden nature of this album. Uh, and it's one of the most respected and renowned early fusion albums ever right uh this is miles meshing rock and funk and all sorts of stuff and yeah just terrific terrific stuff so let's uh, take a look who plays on this everybody plays on this miles davis trumpet wayne shorter soprano saxophone bernie Maupin, bass clarinet joe zawinu electric piano chick Corea, electric piano john mclaughlin electric guitar dave holland bass harvey brooks bass lenny white drums jack dejanet drums Don Elias, congas. Uma Santos, otherwise known as Jim Riley, on percussion. All right, who are these other people who play on here as well? Well, who else we got here? Um, yeah, that's most everybody, I guess. Yeah, that's pretty much everybody. Um, what do we got on this album? Uh, just lots of big, sprawling, epic jams. I mean, Pharaoh's Dance, written by Joe Zawinul, absolutely killer. Uh, the title track, Bitches Brew. 27 minutes long amazing spanish key that's also lengthy 17 minutes and change john mclaughlin that's the shortest track at just over four minutes but then you got miles runs the voodoo down another big epic of 14 minutes long sanctuary that's also epic uh and then you got when you buy the um the reissue right the remaster you get fail which is uh another lengthy piece like 12 minutes long i mean these are basically just unstructured jams that are just kind of, kind of pieced together from various sessions and uh but it just sounds so like you know you look at the artwork right and it's just it, it the artwork perfectly exemplifies like what your what your senses go through when listening to this i'm gonna show the whole whole wrap around here because it, it's like if you feel like you're out in like you're out in the, like, the middle of Africa, right? And there's just all this stuff going on. The way the percussion, the drums, the, the grooves, and the heavy bass. And then Miles is like far away trumpet, and, you know, and these crazy shards of dissonant guitars from McLaughlin and the, the, the really wild electric piano um, from Zawinul in Korea. I mean, it just, uh, yeah, this is a, a really, really special album. And it, you know, to some this might be kind of it's a little unstructured, right? It's a little it's a little noisy and chaotic, and I get all that. And I remember like the first time when I first started getting into this album, I remember my then girlfriend at the time, she's like, What what are you what are you having me listen to here? And I'm like, It's Miles, baby. It's Miles. Um, yeah, but uh, there's this there's something about it. And again, I, I absolutely love this album. I, I love putting stuff like this 
when I'm out by the pool, and specifically when I'm out by the pool by myself. So, like, it'll, it'll be a nice day or maybe, a, you know, early evening or late morning, right, if I'm off or something from work. And I'll put this on or, or another Miles album from a similar time period. I, I like listening to On the Corner and Jack Johnson and In a Silent Way also. I hope these all, even Agartha and, and stuff like that, Pangea. But, and I'll just, like, I'll put them on and I'll sit and I'll get myself a nice floaty I'll put my sunblock on, maybe a hat or something like that, and I'll just sit on the floaty and I'll just take a nap or just you know, sit there and just soak it all in and, you know, it's just, and it's perfect. It's just absolutely perfect. And then McLaughlin's guitars and the wild, spacey uh, electric piano from Korea and, and Zawinul. Just amazing stuff. Amazing stuff. I absolutely love it. So, yeah, this, this is a absolute must-hear for me out by the pool. Specifically when I'm chilling by myself. But yeah, in the summertime, love it, love it, love it, love it. That's my pick for today, uh, Bitches Brew. Hold on, do I have any kind of uh, charts? I do. Belgian charts, the Flanders charts, number 80. Portuguese charts, number 49. We don't hear Portugal coming up much on these. UK charts, number 71. US Billboard, top 235. And the US top R&B album charts, number 4. Certifications, UK Gold, 100,000 units sold, and U.S. Platinum, a million copies sold. So there you have it. Other people like this album as well. This, this, this was a big deal at the time. right? This was, again, the beginning of the fusion era. Uh, rock and jazz colliding together as only Miles Davis can do it. And uh, pretty special stuff. So yeah, Bitches Brew. Let us know what you think of this down in the comments below, as well as your pick for today. And we'll see you in just a little bit for ranking the albums here with Rick Labonte and myself. We will be ranking the solo albums of Paul McCartney. Till then, visit us on the web at www.seatranquility.org. We're on Facebook. We're on YouTube all together all the damn time. Please subscribe if you haven't already and click on that notification bell so you get alerted of all of our content as it posts. And please do hit the like button before you leave. Also, down below, we got the links to our Ko-Fi page, our channel donations, our merch page, and our Cameo page. Thank you in advance for all your support there, as always. And we'll see you soon here with more stuff tomorrow morning. Once again, back at you with pick number 15. Till then, I am Pete Pardo. Have a good one. Bye-bye.